was a Gimmer? G-I-M-R. That's that's Gimmer. Oh yeah. Sorry, the yeah, the acronym. But anyway, you know what? This is a I would say this is a little bit of a grudge match. Because Mystery won waypoint yesterday and oh, got my Rari. Yeah, exactly. You can't do that on their home turf. No, Got to my Rari, sponsored by Waypoint Cafe. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be looking to be like, hey, you know what? Not here, not now. I'm gonna take this back to John for yeah. Waypoints. <laughs> yeah, the TOs can't can't lose at her own event. Like that's not allowed. Not at Waypoint, and not for a player as capable as Fawn. Like she is uh, definitely a top three duck hunt player in the world, and you know. It's crazy it's that you say top point. three because a lot of people, when I was in Pittsburgh, they were arguing. Uh, they were surprised when I told them, "Yeah, she's technically top three. And they're like, "No, the way she plays has to be the best." Who else plays she's this character? She's crazy. Uh, there's, she can tell you. I don't remember them by name. I'm bad with names off the top of my head. You know how many people showed up for that group photo for the duck hunt at there's Smash Con this them. year? Five people. There are five. That's people That's more showed than up. I thought. Like I was not ready even for, a dozen. I was ready for like two. And you know, it was like, uh, at Smash Gun in particular, it's like, oh my god, I was ready for two of them, because I know Second Doggo lives in, like, the DR or something, or in the islands there. Uh, and it's like, no way is he here, but hey, five is more than I thought. <laughs> That's fair. Subverting expectations, yeah. just like Fawn does every time Ooh. she plays the dog. Oh, the, the setup there from Fawn was so nice, and the air dodge! The recovery routes from Fawn are so good, and... You can really take advantage of some of Mr. East's timings, in particular with an awkward character like Duck Hunt, because he loves to press out of shield, take advantage of all of the utility options that Lucina has to offer. Just throwing off those timings and throwing off these spacings ever so slightly can really put Mr. E in a bind. Like so. <laughs> yeah, you can never pressure Duck Hunt Dog when they have that can right in their shield. It's gonna blow up. You gotta learn from Snake. I will blow myself up. Oh, the up out of shield, uh, out of hit stun, rather. So perfect there for Mr. E to get out of a very dangerous situation because Gimma right now is swinging with these clay pigeons, and if any one of them connects, it is curtains for Mr. E. The damage will be sublime. Mr. E really Again. liking those little dolphin <laughs> slash checks. It, it, look, listen, it's one, of the, it's one of the few options that they have to get out of any situation. Clay pigeons and can. What else do you want? Maybe maybe some heavier dogs. I just think it's hilarious. It's like it feels so like such like, it feels like such a massive risk, and in part it is. But the fact that Clay Pigeon does spawn like all the other items on frame one means it can be slightly less risky than it seems to do something like that. Particularly since Mr. E is just giving Fawn all of the time in the world to neutral get up or to land on top of him and just throw a Clay Pigeon on block. Man, Mr. E almost had uh, Rari over there at the end, but with a nice little up air, making, getting back and punishing Mr. E for even trying to edge guard. Oh, we're, we're tilting things around here, tilting and tumbling, but no finisher on the part of either of these characters. This is what Mr. E wants, though. Hold shield right up against the corner, pressure your block, and take advantage of that range. Ooh. Oh, he loves those checks. Be like, hey, you know how to tech? Now let's do it again. It's like a pop quiz every time. <laughs> then the can comes in in order to make and strew chaos, turning this entire situation around for Gimmer. And there you go. Mr. E has been trying to air dodge out of these situations where he thinks that Rari is going to be throwing out an option and gets punished for it almost every single time. He has been doing a really good job of actually wave landing, like, you know, on stage, on the platform. But air dodging in the air, when Rari is just standing there waiting for you to throw out an option, it's an immediate punish. 100% there. So we see the stock getting taken on the part of Mystery with yet another upbeat out of shield. Yet, yeah, it's all of the tempo is in the favor of Fawn right now. Just holding center stage, playing around Ken, getting throws into it for maximum damage. Oh, this could be huge back air. No, going for the up airs, the DI check and went straight up, but the Town and City Blastman's gonna help Mr. E survive it just for that little bit longer. Hey, it would have been on Mr. E if he actually failed to uh, that DI check and, you know, that at the top, neutral air on platform, doesn't quite connect. Mr. E getting a little frustrated here at 154. At 154, you're just like, you're just trying to take hits so that you don't die and like, hold your way down and force your way onto the ground, but Fawn not going to let that happen with an up air to catch said landing. 
Got to take advantage of Lucina's physics first and foremost. The floatier character characters can really get effectively juggled, and that is exactly what Fawn was looking for. It's okay, Mister. You're gonna give it the good old college try next time. Yeah, check this right. Like, I. Oh wait, 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 wait. We're gonna reset that. I, yeah. I had a thought. Yeah, yeah. Give me the. Give me your thoughts. So. So he's on the platform. So this is like a super long recovery, right? Because Lucina's super floaty and you're not trying to push anything. Mm -hmm. So what Fawn ends up doing in order to not threaten the uh, juggle immediately, but instead give herself time to set up a trap, mm -hmm. is just to toss Can upwards. Right. Suddenly, uh, suddenly Mr. E cannot swing this way. No, he has to land right there. Yeah, it's either you attack. Here, I'll switch to yellow. Either you attack or you go to platform. Platform mm -hmm. only really delays a lot of the traps since Can will be on the ground by that time. Mm -hmm. So he chooses to, uh, of which he chooses to do, but the Town and City platform leaving does not give him uh, any more opportunity to try and think his way out or slow down the tempo in that corner scenario. He just has to take a risk. I, hope, I wholeheartedly of. believe that if it hadn't moved, he wouldn't gone to ledge. I think the movement of the platform made him like panic option. I can 100% see that as like Mr. E want, wanted a little bit of time. Ooh. Oh, and there's no time like this. Gawk and Mavari failing that beautiful check there on the Dolphin Slash. Typically, it's that up-tempo play that can really throw off characters like Duck Hunt. You never want to give Duck Hunt time to really set up the full uh, weight of those traps and the damage that they can apply. However, Lucina sometimes just kind of has to let it happen and contest them directly with a disjoint rather than a character like Fox who can blitz right through and power through so much of what Fawn is attempting to set up in the first place. All right, manages to make it back. Okay. Mr. E has been trying to go for a lot of downers lately. Oh. You know, it's something else he's been working on. Oh, oh okay, oh, all right. That was <laughs> saucy as hell. Even, even Mr. E was smiling. He's like, all right, okay, I'm not mad about the that. The can was so far. I, you would have probably been better off just letting the down tilt rock there or the down angle forward tilt. Yeah. Instead, instead, we're cooking and then taking the stock just a few interactions later. 43%, nothing at all in comparison to the damage that she can put out. What a grab. Holy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? After like four whiffed aerials, Mr. E needed something. I wish I could see the game sometimes in the way that Fawn, like, thinks about some of these interactions and some of these utilities. If there's a wireframe mod, you could probably see it that way. It'd be cool like, just to think about all the options and consider such an unorthodox character played to perfection around so many little opportunities. And again, these neutral get up clay pigeons, she's just going to get away with them apparently every time until Mr. E really puts a stop to them. Oh, there we go. Nice grab. The patience so well. A 120, this is kill percent. But not if Gakumairari just kind of falls away, out of range. Gamer's making the game work. And the Gims always wins eventually as the bomb comes down on that throw. The can intercepting another attempted uh, approach on the part of Mr. E. Forced onto this side platform that can be so difficult to play around. you got to hold that. Co Holy moly. The timing and the coverage on Vaughn's traps are so oh intense. Oh my god. Nothing is safe. The gunmen are working in tandem. It's a five player game. <laughs> well, six player if you uh, use the gunman off screen for the smash attacks. I was just like that, 156. Wait. This is a Lucina with rage. Yeah, after all that, right? Like, <laughs> she drops the stock first, and so now you get to deal with Lucina, Max. Excuse me, Max Rage. Uh oh. Oh, that early stock is coming in real handy here. But a game three is going to be closer than before if we even go to game three. Yeah, I mean, Fawn could end this game right now, uh, end this set rather, right now, if she wants to. Again, going for that same neutral getup into Clay Pigeon, but Mr. E seems to have a good beat on it now to properly punish. Oh, we're back on the platform. Upper. You never want to be above Fawn in this situation. Mr. E is swinging now. We are not trying to contest with Cannon. That down tilt poke is going to force Cannon right back to sender. Uh oh, both just whipping. Mr. E finally gets what he wants. Rari on the platform. This guard is Off everything. Stage. Back. Oh, the Misses! Back. That's huge. All right. 
Maybe not as huge as I thought, given the fact that Mr. Yu was able to reestablish a very similar position. Oh! The fake Trump was beautiful there on the part of Mr. E. The runoff into double jump there. You anticipate the buffered option coming out from Fawn because you did that runoff. Uh, in that case, it was the getup attack which closes out, uh, which allowed Mr. E to close out the stock. Right, he hadn't done that before, and there we go. Yeah, Ferris was Ferris. kind of expecting him to just wait there on ledge, as he does often. And like, consider. Oh, we're going. Just oh, kidding. Oh, sorry, no, no, I got you. Thank you. Shout out to Devin. And like, consider this runoff here that E does. Like, we are mm -hmm. slowly. And it right looks like. Here. Like, if you go, like, a little closer, it could look like a Trump, right? That's exactly it. Like, all of what Mr. E's game plan is, is falling back on the strong fundamental hitboxes that Lucina has to offer. Like, just solid buttons all around, solid disjoint. And then apply really strong feints in key positions to result in big reads and big stocks. Or just, like, uh, solid conditioning in order to find those uh, strong hits. It's all about like slow and temperamental play and measured moments of when you take risks. And Mr. E's much more willing to let uh, let Fawn do neutral get up Clay Pigeon time and time again up until the final moments. Meanwhile, that kind of comes at a difference from how Fawn approaches the game, which is much more about coverage, damage, and maintaining and holding a lead to force players to fall into our traps. I don't think there's many other stages that really lend themselves to that game plan like a battlefield. Excellent stage for Mr. E as well, just because you can use a Dolphin Slash to get to the top platform, but if Vaughn wants to play house in the center, she can do that all day. Yeah, she's chilling right now. Oh, potential juggle situation though. I like that double jump feint there from Mr. E, finding the fair afterwards. This is the grab, but misses being hit by the can too. So who's the real winner here? We're back at neutral. Uh, well, we were back at neutral with right? some semblance of it, but Fawn is uh, pitching a tent in the middle of this stage. If you're going to try and approach one of these platforms, a can's going to be on one, and a duck hunt waiting to shark you is going to be on another. Yeah, Mystery, you know, a Long Island native. I don't feel like he knows he likes camping very much. Uh, Just like Rari sense. apparently doesn't like teching today. Well, that's the attack timing mix-up as well, then, because typically you see the runoff, uh, the drop zone dolphin slash to force a tech scenario, but Mystery delayed it, then threw out a neutral air to throw off said tech timing even more, just forcing Fawn to react to it, which she was not able to. Oh, we're up being now. I'm disappointed. You know, she should be all about those techs today. She's been playing a lot of Tekken. True. Always got to be ready. Always got to know your one plus two breaks. I'm never getting stone-headed. <laughs> I no, I will. Every day. I, I will as well. The king, king just scares me. <laughs> oh. Wow, what a trade on the part of that downer. Super tough. All oh. right, hit the gunman. It's fine. You the, hit something. The jockeying for positioning here is so tenuous. And getting hit by that can is tough. He was already in the corner. Now you have to deal with a fully set up trap. Just patience will do it though. All right. Put down smash. Whew. Okay, just high enough. Oh, but still gets hit by the can. And the change up there, this time it was neutral get up can, throwing out a different item, one that's a lot more threatening at these high percentages. Uh, oh, I, he oh, survived. He lived. Wow. Battlefield Blast Zones, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you're gone. <laughs> that's all right, you know what? Every second counts. We're four minutes in. <laughs> no way are we seeing a timeout. Both these players are just applying too much pressure. Even if it's like patient pressure on both sides, whether it be with disjoint or projectiles or traps or items, both of them are looking and ready to try and shut each other down and break each other down. Oh, look at that can there trying to read the air dodge. All right. Helper was just beaten, by the way. Uh, losing to what I think is Parker. Nightwing. Oh, oh, Helper lost? Yes. Oh, Parker was the one who got up and he's like, this is bullshit. No, Parker uh, lost to Helper. This is Nightwing. Oh, ah, Nightwing, okay. Nightwing. All right, my Previously oh, SM. Ah. Yeah. But anyway, right now it's looking like last stock for Mr. E. Ferrari in the best position possible with the can. Doesn't need to approach. Yeah, this is... 
a loser set, a winner Ooh. semis like this can dramatically affect the rest of bracket and placings when you have two titans of each character and the game in general get fought into each other. I like the idea there for Mystery trying to use the throw armor, but that one slight mistiming is going to result in Fawn having enough advantage to, again, catch a landing on a floaty character like Lucina and result in the stock. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter what percentage they reach at. Eventually, that up air is going to take the stock. It's right here. That yep. that moment is we're going to we're backing up. There, there we is. go. This moment right here was indicative for the entire rest of the game because Mr. E, all that he wanted to do was time any of his throws to when this can would connect. I do want to say. That Misery, I think his biggest frustration is that he didn't know in which direction the can would be, and that can be super hard to keep track of. Very true. Because when Fawn actually like hits the can, it'll change direction. And right here, I think he was banking on this can to go that away. Sorry, that. You can do it. That away. <laughs> but you know, so but it went towards him, and that was curtains right there. Did we see which direction it was going? Just like one frame. Yeah, it, it was going well, towards Mr. E. Was, what, which way it was shot, though? Ah, which way it was shot. It can't really tell. I don't think the clip was that long because it was sitting there. Oh, no. It was shot. It was yeah. shot and going this way. Man, right. It, I mean, this is a lot to keep track of mm -hmm. where you see the can coming and you're trying to find the right timing, but you don't know if they're going to pepper it in order to time it, uh, force into something different or wait. It's, it's all stuff that's worthy to talk about through the benefit of hindsight, but Mr. E is put in such a predicament, which is why I really liked the idea of trying to tank through it with the throw armor, mm -hmm. since that's such a left field option. Mm -hmm. Just unfortunately not, find, uh, not finding the right timing. Oh, which then he didn't throw. That's what yeah, happened. Through, yeah, through too late, which of course if you're Lucina, then you're stuck in a juggle situation up against a character 